Hey folks, ActualThingsIndustry.com. So now we have the Bruxism and Appliance that I've been fastidiously working on. Uh, inserted intro earlier. We're going to do a... Uh, well, first off, how's it fit? That's good. Feels good? Mm. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to check his occlusion. Just bite down. Open. I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it, okay? So just open. Bite down and hold. Open. Bite down, open, bite down, open. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm doing a little tug technique, bite down for me. It was taught to me by Dr. K, open big for me. Bite down, oh, I think we're replicating. Open big for me, bite down. We're replicating what was on the articulator. Open big for me, open, bite down. And we have, I just pop that out for me. Okay, so what we have here is we're getting bilateral contacts. It's a little, the contacts are a little bit loose. You can see loose, they're light in the uh, right posterior uh, portion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust selectively grind. I know in the past what I've done is just going and then I end up with nothing. So I'm going to selectively grind in a few places and come back. Okay, so I selectively ground, and what we're going to do is we're going to recheck the occlusion again. Just open for me. Bite down and hold. Open. 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 Now I'm getting more contact in the anterior. Bite down and hold. Open. Bite down and hold. Open. Remember that. Open. Open. Bite down and hold. Open. And we're using uh, 20, 20 micron articulating paper. Okay, just take that out for me. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go through another round, and then we'll come back. We're getting a little more. We're getting a little more contact right here, and definitely a little. So a little more post, a little more uh, bilateral simultaneous contact, including the anterior. So one more round. I think we got it. Okay, so after two rounds of selective grinding, we have simultaneous contact all the way around. Yes, that's a perf. That was from when I was fabricating a lab. Um, I'm happy with that at the way at this state. And normally we would just add clear acrylic, clear ortho acrylic just to fill that in. So I'm going to go back and fill that in once we're done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just check the excursive patterns. Go ahead. Okay, bite down for me. Slide your jaw to the left. There you go, all the way. And open. Bite down, slide your jaw forward. Open. Bite down, slide your jaw to the right. And open. Okay, now take it out. So you can see here are excursive patterns. Now it's a little more it is much more difficult to see it because everything's wet and things are moving around, but you can see like we idealized on the articulator, you have the scribe marks going anteriorly. We have the scribe marks, you can barely see it going uh, to the right, and one scribe mark going to the left. So go ahead and put that back in for me. Okay, so now we're just gonna take a look into Orly and see if I can mimic and see what I'm looking at uh, with my markings. Articulator paper marker markings. Okay, slide your jaw forward and stop. Move back just a little bit. Okay, turn your head to the right. Okay, so we can see that we're having posterior disclusion on his left side, which is I'm looking for, anterior guidance. And turn your head to the left and look up just a little bit. There we go, and you can see we're getting disclusion of the posterior segment as well. Move your, slide your jaw forward. Okay, forward again. There we go. There we go. Now you can see that. That's what I'm looking for in anterior guidance. Okay, slide your jaw normal. Okay, now turn your head just to the left a little more. Okay, slide your jaw to the right now. And there we go. And in his right excursive movement, we have disclusion of the posterior teeth. And turn your head to the right. And you can see we have uh, no contacts there. Bite down normally. And you slide your jaw to the right. Correction, slide your jaw to the left. Bite down. 
right down. Okay, slide your slowly to the left. And there we go. So right there, so we're having canine guidance on his left side and we're getting disclusion of the posterior segment as well. Spike down normally. Okay, so that is what we're looking for in this situation.